Hi, in this tutorial, I'll show you how you can create editable templates and its related features. So as part of this, I'll show you how you can create folder structure or the base structure of editable templates, how you can create editable template type means the template of templates uh, and its resolution and how to create editable templates and how you can edit that for a particular requirement. And then I'll show you the different concept uh, and the use cases for editable template. This tutorial will be having demo part. So let's go to AEM and let me show you how you can create editable template type and temp editable template and other features. So let's understand the folder structure of editable template first. So editable templates and its functionality stay in conf. So you have to go to conf and then a project specific folder, AEM geeks and settings and WCM. Inside this, you will be having three page means the type is page basically the templates and policies and template type all the template types stay in this template type uh, templates what you create will be available here and the policies will be under policies you can fall under two situations now one is you created your project using latest maven archetype if so then this folder structure or the base structure will be already available along with uh, some template type and two templates and you do not need to create this folder structure by you so but in case your code base is a bit old in that case you won't have this folder structure in this case first you have to create this conf folder structure means conf will be there for your project specific folder structure and then you have to create editable template so in this case also you can fall under two situations so let me let me show you both situations let's go to uh, this and then go to tools and if you do not have this folder structure and you try to create template then go to general and then template so because our folder structure for am geeks is available so you see this folder structure for creating template first let me remove that so let's come here and let me remove my whole folder structure here. save and if i refresh this now let's go back Okay, go again and you will see template. So I don't have folder structure for my project to create editable template. So in that case, first you have to create a folder structure or the folder inside conf for my project. So for that, go to tools and configuration browser. And then you can create a folder structure for you. Create and am gigs and create. Okay, now you find this folder structure for our project. Now let me create uh, editable templates. Go to again this general and template. You will see I have created my folder structure, but still this folder is not available to create editable template. So if you go here and check inside this on AM Geeks folder structure is created, but if you see here, I don't have further structure to create editable templates. That it's only till settings. If you go back and check again retail, uh, you should uh, have WCM inside that you should have this folder. So for that purpose, you should allow, you should tell AM, okay, this is my folder structure, but I want to create an editable template also in this folder structure because this folder structure means your project specific folder structure is used for multiple purposes. So editable template is one of them. So again, go back tools, configuration browser and click on this. Select your folder. Go to properties and you will see the four options so you have to check editable templates that means you are defining now okay i want this folder structure or for project specific in conf i want editable template to be created here so this this will be used for other purposes as well so let's save it now go back to tools and templates now you will see this uh, folder structure for my project specific purpose now if you go back to crxd you will see uh, a folder structure created for editable template specifically let me refresh this now you will see wcm and template policies and template type but you'll see here uh, template type is still not available for my project and i have to create template obviously so for that first you have to create template type 
still I don't see any template type for my project. But if I try to create templates, editable templates, let's click on this and you create. So you will see two template types are available. Even I don't see any template type in my project uh, folder structure. So where these template types are coming from? So I explained one concept of template type resolution in my first tutorial. So you must understand how this template type resolves. So first, it will check in your folder structure, your project specific folder structure template type. If these are not available here, it check for the global. You will see a one folder under con global. It will check under this global. If it doesn't find under global, then it will go to apps, apps and settings, WCM and here it will check the template type. If it find template type here, it will show there. You, you seeing the template type is not available in apps as well. Then it will go, means your resolution, uh, your uh, template finder, template type finder resolution will go to libs and inside libs, it will check. It will check in libs, setting, WCM and then template type. So you will be seeing there two template types available. One is HTML5 and if you see here, the title is HTML5 pages. Another one is AF pages. Means uh, if you see that is this adaptive form template pages. So you will see these two template type for this, right? These two because uh, in resolution it did not find any template type while resolving from your project, then con or global, then apps. So finally it found in lib. So these options are available. Uh, template type option are available to create templates. So for our own purpose, first you have to create your own template type. If you created your project using latest Maven type type, you will find few examples template type, two template type available. But let, let's uh, me show you from scratch. So first we have to create a template type for our own project. So you must understand what is the practical way of creating template type. So it has a lot of folder uh, means nodes. So if you create one by one, it will take a lot of time. So uh, the idea is you can copy any template type from other project. The V detail will be always there. So what you can do, just go and copy a one template type, anything, and then change the properties as per your requirement. So what I'll do, I'll create a this whole structure or I'll copy from here and then rename it and change some properties. So I'll show you what are those properties. Uh, ideally, you should create one by one, like create this node, then this node, then this node. It will take a lot of time. So just copy paste one from existing and then just rename the properties or add your required properties. So I created one called page and the title uh, would be this page or I can change the name. So the important part here is your resource type. So you must have go to the initial content and you will see your resource type. Sling resource type should be your page component. So I'm using the default page component. What I got while creating project, I am not using my static page component because this required a responsive. My own component is not responsive enough. So I can't show you that is, you know, layout in that case. So I'm using uh, this uh, by default available page component and structure also you have to give a resource type and device group as this uh, so further in policies you don't have anything for now initially you can just define this my policies and mapping is there so these will be same you can change this the rest of the things are same so uh, now I have created one template type for me so now when I try to create uh, template uh, now this option means this geek space option should be available to create editable template so now let me create a template so go to the geeks and when I click this so this my page what I created template type our own template type is available to create editable template now so this is template of template now create so I added title and the description. So let me create. It's created. Let it open. It is created. Let me change the title of this template. So let's add geeks, geeks template. 
it will save it. So template is created. It's just an empty template. Uh, we don't see header and footer here. We'll see how you can add that. If you see right hand side top, you will see three options structure, initial, layout. So structure is basically if you want any component to be available on page and you cannot remove those pages, you can add using structure and you can also allow what component you are allowing to this parses. You will be creating a policy and inside policy you will be defining. And initial, when you change this to initial, you can uh, add the component which will be available over page, but you can remove those components later from that page. So you are seeing here one component container. So basically, if you create a project using core components, you use container as a responsive grid. If you don't use core component, there is a uh, default component, fundamental component available uh, called responsive grid. So basically this component also has a resource type of this responsive grid, uh, but having some additional features. So in this, because we created this project and uh, we are using core component. So we are using this container component. Basically this component is allow you to change the layout of this. By default, editable template itself is not responsive or editable template means editable or you know editing layout this is a combination of these components as well as this editable template right now you see i don't see any component addition adding a component option available that means the comp we don't have policy for this if we don't have policy we cannot because this this uh, container component does not know which component is allowed here so for that you can create a policy here so to create policy, just give the title of policy and description and then you can add what components means what are the components allowed. So I'm saying, OK, I need global as well as the content and just save it. So a policy has been created and now you can reuse this policy for different different components or for the different processes. So due to that policy, these components are allowed here. Let me add a component in structure. So I have added a title component. So whenever we create a page using this template, so this title component will be available always there and you cannot delete that. Now let me create a page using this template. So when I try to create this, the template is not available. So there might be two reasons. One is template is not allowed to create. And the second most common reason is your template still be in draft state. So go to the templates open the templates and you see your template still in draft state. So what you have to do, you have to enable it, just enable it. So if you enable it, now your temp template must be available to create pages. You will see here, just create one page using this. Editable page, and let me create, just open it. So you will see the title is available here and you cannot remove it. You don't have option to remove this title because we added this component. Uh, if I show you, uh, we added this component in structure. Now I added a some dummy component to this page and you will see. So you created suppose number of pages and later on, if you want to change the layout of this uh, page, means all these pages created using this template. So in that case, uh, the best part is you can update this template layout and this that will be reflected to your all your pages. Just to change layout, just click on this and you have this uh, button layout button or you can go from here itself layout or this button. Just click on this button and you will see this uh, tiny half circle. So you can just click on this and you can drag. So if you you are project is created using bootstrap and most of the project are creating as a bootstrap as a you know base of ui in bootstrap your page is divided into 12 columns so you will see the 12 column here so what i'm doing i'm just dragging one column here and from the left side again click and from the left side also one column here now you will see this this container is of 10 column one i remove one column from left side and one column from right side just save it and if I go to the page which is creating using this template, this should be, this layout should change. Means it should have a less width. So 
So now you will be seeing this width has been changed. I, I remove one column from the right side and one column from the left side. Now let's say you want to change the layout of existing pages. Now you need a two parses on that page. So for that purpose, you can again add it your template and you can add two parses. So for that, just add one more container component, container, and change the layout of first one to eight or as per your need. And second one, layout of second one is four. So the total uh, column is 12. So they will come aside and this second parses will be available over page along with the first one. So if you refresh, there should be two parses. Okay, you will see only one right one side is not available because this parse is locked for component. You cannot add. So if you see here, lock button, just unlock this. And now this parses will be available to add a uh, component. Okay, it's available. So that way you can change the layout of existing pages as well as new pages. So I hope you understood. If you have any question, please do comment. Thank you.